Hi, Tom Heibel here. Hey, I'm just doing a quick video on the Sticky Pod dash cam and the Kodak ZI-10. Now, these little handheld cameras, they're great little cameras. They're just made out of plastic, so sometimes when you've got these small cameras made out of plastic, you've got to do a little something extra to get good, stable video like the one you're watching right now. The footage you're looking at is just raw footage. All I did was cut and paste this right into this video. There's no image stabilization turned on. As a matter of fact, you don't want to use it on some of these small handheld cameras. Uh, and I did no post-production work on it either. Like I said, all I did was cut and paste. Take a look at this picture right here. Let me explain what I did. Now, as you can see, I'm using a sticky pod dash cam and I've got three knuckles set up. I've got one knuckle that uh, has a suction cup attached to it and the other two knuckles are holding the cameras. Now you'll notice there's a little piece of foam up on top of the cameras. Now you might be wondering why that's up there. Well, a lot of these little handheld consumer cameras, because they're made out of plastic, they're not meant for car camera mount use. You can attach it to the sticky pod, and the sticky pod will hold nice and firm, but unfortunately the plastic on these cameras just isn't meant to, uh, uh, to be used while you're out driving around in your car. So anyways, uh, just wanted to uh, show you that you use that little bit of foam. All that is, just so you know, it's just a little tiny piece of weather stripping that's just been cut. I've done this for years. This is one of the little secrets, one of the little tips that I use to uh, uh, get these cameras to stabilize themselves so I have a whole lot less production, post-production work to do, a lot less editing. It's really simple too. Take a look at the camera on the right. The camera on the right is the one obviously looking at me right now. And you can see that there's a piece of foam actually stuck to the windshield. Well, the great thing about that is that acts like a marker. It's like when you stick an X down on the ground for the actor to stand there. That little marker tells me exactly where I need to mount my cameras. So when I pull my sticky pod out and I need to transfer the video off of the cameras, I don't even take them off the sticky pot. I just put the, I just pull the entire sticky pot out, take it with me, transfer the videos, stick it right back in the truck, and because the uh, foam is there, it tells me exactly where to put the cameras again. So I get the exact same setup every time. I don't have to keep reworking it and doing a bunch of extra work to make all this happen. Not to mention, when you've got rock stable video like you're seeing right now, you don't have to do anything with it. All I do is cut out the stuff that obviously isn't working and use the stuff that is working. It's that simple. So anyways, I just wanted to show you how I do it. It's that easy. My name's Tom Heibel. I'm the owner and the inventor of the Sticky Pod. You've seen me for almost 10 years now, and I'm sure I'll see you again real soon.